In this exercise, we're going to start exploring what you can do with all the skills that you've gained so far, pulling it together to make an interactive quiz. So uh, what we're going to do is create a quiz that has several questions, and then once the user submits the quiz, it will automatically score itself and then give them some sort of an answer about how well they did on the test. So to get started, what we want to do is set up a basic HTML page, and I've included the doc type here, head and a body, and then I just have an H1 that has um, some of the questions in it that we're going to ask. These are, all, these are ultimately going to change into um, form elements in a second, but I wanted to um, show you what the questions were going to be. Um, we're going to ask some questions about JavaScript, because we're learning about JavaScript anyway. We might as well make a quiz about JavaScript. So I'm going to pop over to Text Wrangler and I'm going to start a new document. And I'm going to put this information in there and then I'm going to save this as index.html. And again, you can save it as anything you want, but I'll save it as index.html. And I'm going to put it in a folder that I have um, with a repository of code for these projects, so interactive JavaScript, and I'll save it in here. I also have things that I want to use on this page, like some images, so that's why I'm saving it into this folder. And then I want to come over to the browser, and I'll bring up a tab where we will be able to look at it as we're working on it. So here we are so far, not much going on here except some text. So the first thing we want to do after we get the page set up is to style it with a little CSS. And so I've got some styles here, and we're just going to put these styles in the head of the document since um, this is the only page that we're using them on. You can, of course, put styles in their own style sheet as well. So I'm creating the style section here. I've got some styles for the body that include a font change and a color for the background. And then they're going to be two divs. I'm going to have a main div that's going to contain most of the uh, items on the page. And then within that, I'm going to uh, include a header div that I can have a header. I've got this um, image that I want to show up in the header. And um, I've got these at 80% for their width. I've got the, the main sort of containing that. And I'm doing it as a percent, so it'll also be responsive. And I've indicated a max width of 950 px and that the margin auto will center. So right now, if I save this and refresh it, we're probably just going to see the color background and the text change because we haven't applied the divs yet. And that's what we'll do next. 